I've always had a receding chin, actually, and I was very uh, self-conscious about that. John Bavona, when he first came in, was diagnosed with a severe mandibular retrognathia, which just means that his lower jaw did not fully develop. It was extremely retrusive way back. Occasionally, uh, individuals are born with uh, facial bone structure which can be weak or a little deficient. Uh, and uh, we have ways of augmenting the tissue with uh, implants or actually uh, cutting and moving the bone. Ever since I was a kid, people would kind of like do the, like I was a goofball vulture, like, <laughs> you know, walking around the halls or whatever in school. And, you know, Bucky Beaver and all that jazz. It wasn't fun. I mean, you know, people making fun of you in any way, whether it be for something physical or, you know, it's never, I wouldn't say it's ever fun. John Mavona is a really good example, too, of somebody who was not confident at all when he used to come in very shy, very quiet. I think uh, the problems it was causing was more mental than physical. You know, I was like, can I just look normal? Just very shy, very meek, very understated. I always felt like, well, if I want to go anywhere, like higher to a higher level, I don't want my appearance to cause my disappearance, so to speak. So why not just take care of it and do what needs to be done, feel good about myself and, and move forward. Two ways to correct a small chin. One is to actually uh, cut the chin bone and slide it forward. Uh, the other way is to put an implant in, a uh, prosthetic implant on the chin bone. Not only did we do orthodontics, but he also had a surgical procedure to reposition his lower jaw. And then they moved, you know, they slid everything forward. So it was like up and then forward. And I mean, what a difference. Well, John Bavona <laughs> came in last week with the coolest threads you've ever seen, with a top hat, with a bite and smile that will stop traffic, and with this newfound personality and charm and outgoingness that just will blow you away. After having his surgery, he comes in now and is just like, ladies, hey, you know, hi, hi, Amy. Like, a ladies man now. Every time he walks in, staying alive like goes off in my head and I just see him kind of walking in and you know. It was like a reintroduction of myself like well here's a, a, a new you. It's almost like he's a totally different person. It's not just about appearance, it's about making, it's about the way you feel, it's about being confident and being able to go into your life and accomplish your goals and accomplish what you want to do and feel really good about it. And he cannot stop smiling, and he is so grateful, and he looks fantastic. And that, just to be able to see that happen to somebody, for somebody, is just incredible to me. If you're gonna go any place, I think it's important that you have confidence in yourself. Dr. J and, and Dr. Shindell, I think, are just dynamic duo. I wholeheartedly would recommend them to anybody. John is out and about and loving life, and that's nice to see. The change in his confidence is amazing.